Hi kids, welcome back. It's Sunshine bringing you another What Sold video. These are items that have sold for me from March 15th through March 21st. I'm gonna go by the day and let you know what all they sold for. So the first day we're gonna start is on March 16th, which was a Tuesday. And the first thing I sold was on eBay. It was this Marmot, Marmot <laughs> turquoise vest, outdoor vest, and it zipped up the front. It was a beautiful color and gorgeous condition, but it said Conoco, Alaska, so it had branding on it. And I thought, oh, nobody's going to buy this unless they worked for that company. I'm not even sure it's still around. But it ended up selling on best offer for $18. And I only paid $3.99 for that last month at the Salvation Army. So that was a good return. And the next thing to sell also sold on eBay. And it was mine that I was no longer wearing. And it was this Great Lynx swimsuit, tummy slimmer. I have a long torso, so I have to, to buy these or it shows too much of my hoo-ha. So it was mine, like I said, size 14. And it ended up selling on a best offer someone sent to me for $20. And the next thing to sell was also on eBay. And I picked these up last month at Goodwill. So I paid $2.65 for them. And I was so jazzed to find them because I hardly ever find any anthropology pieces worth picking up. So these were the Wanderer Utility Pants in a size 31 and they ended up selling on a best offer to me for $18. So that was on March 16th. Then we're going to move on to Wednesday, March 17th. I had a few sales. The first one was actually on Macari. <laughs> so it was mine that I also was no longer using. And there was this Juicy Couture uh, Scotty Dogs business card case. This was their most famous print, the angel multi-print with the Scotty dogs, kind of look like houndstooth. So I originally listed this at $30 and I must have accidentally left on that lowering feature they have. So someone messaged me saying, asking if I would take $20 for it. And I looked at it and it was at $23. And so I messaged her back and I go, I don't know how it got that low. Needless to say, within five seconds, she purchased it for $23. So, yeah, that was a good sale, I guess. So, the next thing to sell was on eBay. And it was something that I picked up last month. I paid $4 for it. It was this hand tool leather belt, brown. It had whip stitching on it. It had horseshoes. It was embossed. It was gorgeous. So I bought it for $4 and it ended up selling on best offer for 20. And the next thing to sell that day was something I have had forever. I purchased it, geez, two years ago. So it was this mix and company um, chemise sleep dress, kind of like a slip. And it had an all over pink cheetah print. So it ended up selling on best offer for 12.50 and Hallelujah, it's out the door. So then we're gonna move on. Oh, nope, we still have another one. So the next thing to sell, I had, let me find this, cause this is important. So these are uh, something that came up in my, came in one of my men's thread up rescue boxes from a couple months ago. And it was these Abercrombie and Fitch size small chambray stretch shorts. So I probably paid like $6 a piece for that box. And these ended up selling uh, full price for $14.77. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Thursday, which was the 18th. And the first item to sell was actually on Poshmark. So let me find it, cause you know it's gonna take forever to find. And it was something that I picked up at a small thrift store last month. So I paid $4 for it. I went a couple times to that same store and found new tag towards bras. 
so lucky. So the first one to sell was this Torrid push-up plunge cleavage bra in a size 38H, and it actually sold for my full price of $35 on Macari. Great score. I went back the other day to see if they had any more. No, they didn't have anything that even came close. So bummer, dude, but I'll keep checking back. Okay, the next item to sell was on eBay, and these were something I picked up on Dollar Days at Goodwill, so I'm into them for a dollar. And they were these Levi's 518 size 15 jean shorts. They had the fringe hem, they were Bermuda length, and I had these listed at $14.77, and that's what they sold for. So then we're going to move on to a sale on Poshmark, and it was this Partners Denim Midi Vintage Skirt in a size 14. So I also picked this up on Dollar Days, but I've had it for a few months, and someone sent me an offer. I think I had it listed for 25, and someone sent me an offer of 20, which I gladly accepted. So then we're going to move on to Friday the 19th. I had a couple sales. And the first item I picked up at Goodwill last month and paid $3.99 for it because I thought they no longer make this scent and it was probably desirable, but boy was I wrong. So it was an Avon Candid Perfume Spray. It was new. It had never been used. And I ran comps on it and ended up listing it for $7.77 and that's what it sold for. I'm going to have to start running comps when I come across those uh, fragrances in the thrift store because they're not all worth something. But then we're going to move on to a fantabulous sale. So this item I picked up, I paid $6 for at a small thrift store last month, the end of last month. Didn't know what it was. I just knew it was a linen dress, a linen maxi dress. But what was weird was it had this button thing in the back, and I still don't know what that was for. It looked like it had bat wings hanging off the side, and then you could pull them around and button it in the back. I don't know. Anyway, I listed it high. I listed that $6 piece at $49.77. That's what it sold for. So I guess I don't have to know exactly what the style name is for it to sell. So that was that was probably my su most surprising sale of this video. So then we're going to move on to Saturday the 20th. I had a few sales on eBay. And the first item to sell, I picked up and paid $3 for at a small thrift store because it was linen. So it was Liz Claiborne white linen top in a size extra large, and it had pin tucking um, down the placket. The thing is, when I was photographing it, it had yellow underarm stains, and I just, I don't have the time to deal with that stuff. So I sent it out to auction for 77 cents, and surprisingly, it sold for $5.50. So I did make my money back on that. So happy. And then the next item to sell, I just got in my uh, Thread Up Men's Box, if you guys want to watch that video, I don't know how to link it up here, but you can look at it in my videos. So I just picked it up. I think I'm into each of those pieces for around $4. And it was um, these Under Armour Men's Cargo sh shorts in a size 38. They had UPF 30 in them. So I, I'm assuming they were golf shorts. Uh, but they're cargo, so maybe they're fishing shorts. I don't know. Anyway, they ended up selling for an offer I sent to the buyer for $16.90. And the next item to sell I've had for quite a while, I picked up for free at a yard sale a while back. And I kept getting offers on it right away for $10. And I thought, no, I'm going to hang on to this for a while. So anyway, I had it listed for $19.77 all these months and somebody bought it outright. So I'm happy on that item that I waited. Some items aren't like that, but yeah. Okay, and then on Sunday, I don't know if people got their stimulus check or what, but all hell broke loose <laughs> in a good way. And the first item to sell was on Macari 
And I've been getting offers on this, but I've been holding out because it's a unique piece. And I picked it up at a thrift store and paid $3 for it. It was new without tags. So it was a MASH uh, 4077 blue camo scrub top in a size 2X. Every time I find these, they're like small, size small. So I had it listed for $25 and finally got sick of looking at it. So one of those $20 offers I accepted and it's off to its new home. And then the next thing to sell was surprising. It was something that I paid, let me see if I can find this. I paid $3 for these at a thrift store. Oh no, these were my dollar ones. So I paid a dollar for these at my honey hole a week or two ago. And they were these Gloria Vanderbilt uh, embellished and embroidered Jordan uh, Capri jeans in a size 18W. And I listed them for $19.77. And with days, that's what they sold for. So you guys that are, you know, passing on Gloria Vanderbilt, some of them sell. So then the next item I picked up, I picked up at a small thrift store a month or two ago, paid a dollar each for them. And they were sets of two Whirlpool OEM drip pan for your stovetop. So one was boxed and one was plastic sealed without the box. So I listed them um, in the same listing, but you know, two separate items. And somebody purchased them both for $51.78 shipped. So that was a good return. And the next item, shout out to my friend Patty. I told you this would sell. She gave me a few items that I thought I could sell. And one was this double peacock picture frame. It was so pretty. The colors, the enamel colors were so pretty. So I had it listed for $9.77 and got a lot of interest, but nobody was buying it. So one day I decided to send out an offer for $7.99 and it sold. I knew somebody would like those little peacocks. They were so cute. So then I sold the personal care. And the next item also came out of my most recent Thread Up Men's Rescue box. So I'm into it for like $4 and time for coffee. <laughs> It was this Under Armour Match Play Golf Pants in a size 36, 31. For some reason this day, Poshmark was just popping for me. So it sold on Poshmark and I had it listed for, I want to say $40. And I ended up sending out an offer for $34.50, which someone accepted. And the next item to sell was on eBay. And I've had these for a long time. I purchased them at a yard sale a while back and somebody had left them out in the sun and it gets really hot here in the summer, like in the hundreds. And they put a masking tape price tag on it. So that masking tape had melted into the suede. I could not get it off. So it left a stain with what I used to try to remove it. But I paid $10 for these and they were these mini Tonka five layer fringe boots in a size seven. And they ended up, I sent out an offer to Likers for $21.99, and that's what they sold for. I'm just glad I could get them to sell with that stain on them. I just, you know, even when I'm still uh, thrifting out here in the desert, it's just amazing to me that people leave electronics out in the baking sun in 100 degree heat. I have no understanding. Cover them up, put them under a tarp, do something. Okay, so then I sold another personal care item. And then, oh, this I got, geez, I don't even remember. Let me look and see where I got this at. Oh, it was in a Thread Up men's box too. But I think it was uh, my first one or my second one. So I'm into it for like $6. But when I got it, it reminded me of, um, Jeez, I can't even think of his name, the Hannibal Lecter guy. What he wore when he was at the, near the end of the movie, when he was vacationing somewhere, and he had on this white linen-like blazer. My husband said it reminded him of uh, Miami Vice, which, yeah, it could be that too. But anyway, it was this Hagar Linen Atomic Sport Coat Blazer in a size 44. 
And I want to say I had it listed probably for $40, but I ended up sending out an offer of $25, which someone accepted. So glad. That took up so much space. Oh, and that was on Poshmark. And the next item was also on Poshmark. So these I got, I found thrifting. I paid like $4.99 for them last month. Got them home, and they were these Allen Edmonds Spikeless Lynx golf shoes in a size 13. I didn't even know golf shoes came without spikes. So they were vintage, and they were brown and black. Really nice looking. You know, they had a few scratches and scuffs, but other than that. So I had them listed for $40, and they got a lot of interest across all three platforms. But I was tired of looking at them, so... Since I was having such good sales on Poshmark that day and to men, this I sent out an offer for $30 and someone accepted. So, so glad that I was able to sell those Allen Edmond shoes. And that's my sales for the week of March 15th to March 21st. I hope you guys enjoyed them. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'd love to have you along. Hope everybody's having a great day and I'll see you on the next one.